Hey guys and welcome back to my channel and if you're new welcome to my channel. So bear with me right now because it's so early in the morning but I only had time to film this now because this is when everyone's just out of the house like no one's home right now so this is the perfect time to film this video but I'm tired you know why because it's 8 6 a.m. I did not wake up at 8 6 a.m. I did not wake up at 8 a.m. but that's not the point of this video so yes as you read the title today we'll be wrapping some gifts um if your family or friends or if you're like yeah if your family or friends do not watch this for obvious reason because then you're just spoiling the surprise and the magic of christmas so don't do that please for my sake it's just, it's been hard okay the thing is i actually don't have all my gifts right now um i'm still waiting for a couple to come in but i was like why not just wrap some today and then just wrap something today because I feel like I don't do no vlogmas thing I'm sorry if I don't do vlogmas but like I don't feel like I'm that entertaining especially during the holidays I'm just stressed about getting gifts and just like school and stuff in general so I didn't have time to do little vlogmas things also I don't I can't find my Christmas hats for some really weird reason so here I am with a tiara taking place isn't it such a night you can barely see it Happy holidays. Okay, you know, at least I'm in a red sweater. That it's a thought that matters, right? And as you can tell, my house is very, very well decorated for Christmas time. Yep, that's our tree. Um, we literally just got it yesterday, so we didn't have time to decorate it. But I promise you, we're going to decorate it before Christmas. And if I don't, you guys come for me. So let's just get on to the video. So I have a total of four gifts out of the what 13 12 that I ordered um, am I worried no I actually have some things coming in today um, hopefully they come in soon so there's that um, I feel like I could just start presenting some of the gifts and then we're just going to wrap it you know make it look nice and pretty i do not have my ribbons or my bows today so what's the whole point of this video just to have something out for you guys to watch and hopefully it's entertaining usually i do drink like iced coffee or something but the thing is i'm planning to go back to sleep after this so i guess they could start with my dad's gift if i could find the end of this tape but hey actually funny story yesterday i was actually in the hospital again for like the second time this past two three weeks because i have this really really bad like chest pain that keeps coming back and going and for some reason the doctors just don't know what's going on with me like i feel like i'm located in a Grey's anatomy episode the end is right here but i cannot open it oh my gosh i feel like i'm located in a Grey's anatomy episode because it feels like it's a medical mystery you know that kind of situation so maybe i'm the first person to ever have it but then that's also scary because then that means they don't know what to do i don't know what to do they don't know what to do then i'm screwed <laughs> So for my dad, we have a shiatsu pillow massager with heat for back and neck. He complains for a lot of like back issues where he wants us to like help him massage, but then it's really hard to like, you know, get in there. So I saw that these were a thing and I was like, okay, perfect. This is really going to help him with that. So this was like what, $74 or something. My brain's not the best at 8 a.m. but I'm trying but yeah this was like 70 bucks so much for not buying expensive gifts but the thing is when I buy gifts I make sure it's you know it's things that people actually want and eat so that's exactly what I did this is something that he wants or he doesn't know that he wants it but he needs it you know those ones so that's exactly what this is i found a good question here to start things off um so what is one thing you would like to accomplish in the coming year now i kind of made a bet with my sister um this was on my part i was so confident that i don't think i'm going to make it and the bet is that i can reach what I said first I said a thousand and then she challenged me and then I raised it to two thousand so I was like I bet I can reach two thousand subscribers by January and then that's to change my words a bit to the end of January because January is coming up and I'm nowhere close to two thousand subscribers and if I don't I have to kiss her pet bird 
Zuri and I kind of don't want to do that but I'm kind of also not that close so I think I low-key might have to kiss Zuri and I'm really upset unless people watch this video and they feel bad for me and they're like oh let me subscribe to her unless you're just really really mean and you're like I want to see you kiss the bird well too bad I'm, I don't want to record that I don't want that thing to exist on the internet forever it's Zuri okay what is your favorite Christmas song and which Christmas song makes you cringe oh okay okay um favorite Christmas song I have to be honest, it's not all I want for Christmas is you. Like, yes, Mar Maria, Car Maria Carey, Maria Carey, yes, you know, MC. Um, she's her song All I Want for Christmas is just wonderful. She has an amazing voice and everything. But there's been a lot of new Christmas songs like coming up, and they kind of took her place of what was once in my heart. For example, 21 Pilots actually just released a Christmas song and it's called Christmas Saves the Year and it's the most beautiful thing I've ever heard and I fell in love with it but there, but it's not my favorite Christmas song um actually it's kind of hard to pick my favorite Christmas song because I can tell you my favorite Christmas album and that's Sia's Every Day is Christmas oh my gosh um Sia's Every Day is Christmas is absolutely it's the, the album is just amazing that I had to get it on vinyl and it just gets me in the mood for Christmas um it's just it's just 8 a.m. You know. <gasps> okay, give me a sec. It's like <gasps> I need to stop doing that. Oh my gosh. Okay, so the question was, what is one Christmas tradition do I do every year? So with my family, we do the generic like, um, you know, eat, have a good time, and then open gifts. With my friends, though, we do a secret Santa. Yes, my high school friends. We every year we do Secret Santa. Ooh. Okay. I'm gonna have to put tape there. So yeah, my high school friends we do Secret Santa every year ever since we've been friends during high school. I feel like we started it in we really became friends like grade ten. So I guess we started it grade ten year. Um and ever since then that's all we've been doing. This year we were supposed to actually do a, a, a white elephant. So like you get the most random gifts and then everyone's just like exchanging and etc. It's a lot to explain, kind of, but I just don't want to. Um, but yeah, we were supposed to do that, but then you know, huh? COVID happened, so we just decided to do like a virtual online Secret Santa thing. And oh my gosh, I'm telling you, these guys are actually crazy. They're crazy. We're supposed to keep the people we have a secret yeah we always have those three detectives in our group trying to figure out who everyone has and spoils it <sighs> with your guesses well i hope if you guys are watching this even though i told you not to watch it if you are watching this i hope you you still don't know who i have even though it's kind of gotten obvious at this point and i really don't care anymore because christmas is coming we're opening the gifts soon so if you see this video you see this video and that's not my problem okay okay so voila here is my dad's gift fully wrapped as you can see like i said i know how to wrap gifts i'm just struggling right now because i'm not gonna repeat it it's 8 a.m for my mom i got her something very very nice so she's always come so she always has a throw blanket wherever she is i feel like a lot of times she just wants to be a little bit more warmer with her throw blanket so i got her a heated blanket this baby is going to make her so happy this way she can be warm cuddly with a blanket wherever she goes or wherever her plug is and wherever she goes yeah so for my sister we're getting her like a new phone nothing too big she just wants like a, a standard like upgraded version of an iphone i'm gonna get her the iphone 8 today um i also got her this a very cute cinnamon roll bag from the hello kitty crew you know, Sanrio, whatever the company's called. I got it for a mini so. Like, I'm getting her a new phone case and screen protector for her phone. So, it's gonna come together. Jingle bell, jingle bell, jingle bell ring. Jingle bell swinging, jingle bell ring. Jingle bell time is a swell time. To go right in the water. 
my horse Um, uh, Let's talk about Christmas movies. Now, which Christmas movies do you guys like watching? Honestly, I stopped watching Christmas movies like that. Um, as a kid, when we still had cable, I would be forced to watch a Christmas movie because that's all they put on. And then I was like, oh my gosh, isn't it so cool I'm watching a Christmas movie during Christmas? But then when we just stopped paying cable because it got so expensive, I just didn't do it. I just didn't do it. I just kept watching my normal programs like Spongebob and etc on Netflix or Ruby Gloom if people remember that. I just stopped watching Christmas movies and I'm kind of sad. Honestly, I have to say it's the, it's the Grinch. How the Grinch Stole Christmas, Dr. Seuss. The live action? Probably live action because I had the DVD. So I vividly remember watching that. That I vividly remember watching. It was, I don't know what happened to that DVD. It's, it's gone, it's gone. But right now, I feel like I'm being extremely loud for no reason at all, but I also just want the microphone to pick up everything that I'm saying and show that I have somewhat some energy at this ridiculous time of the day. Um, yeah, I have a question for you guys. Uh, do you guys wrap your own gifts or do you pay someone like at the mall or something to do it for you? I have to be honest, I don't really remember how I learned how to wrap gifts. All I know is like my dad taught me like one or two times and then I started teaching my parents because I just got so good at it. So let me know, uh, how, like how did you learn to wrap gifts if you ever did? Or do you still just go to like places where they wrap it for you? Ooh, ooh, ooh. Hey, yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, I'm squeezing the box. My thigh game was too strong. It's okay. Okay, mom's gift is fully wrapped. Uh, so that makes two gifts wrapped. So now we're just going to wrap my Secret Santa's gift. If you're watching this, guys, get off. You can watch this after. Oh my gosh. Actually, you know, if you want to watch it and spoil your own surprise, go ahead. Not even my problem anymore. I can't control you. It's every country, am I right? First, my Secret Santa asked for a glass teapot. You guys already know what I have. Oh my god. Yeah, it's a glass teapot. It's really cute. You know, the person I have is a big tea lover. This is just giving away who I have at this point. I don't care. We're just gonna wrap that. Um, can I wrap it like this? No. What am I doing? I look like a fool. Like, I'm literally filming this as... Like, I'm literally filming this today on Thursday and I'm going to be editing and uploading it today on Thursday just so I have something for you guys and just so I can try and stick to a schedule because for some reason I'm just not good at sticking to schedules lately. Let's talk about new year resolutions. Let's get the topic going. So like I said, one of my goals is to reach 2,000 subscribers by the end of January, which is very unhigh, like it's very unlikely, but like a girl can dream, you know? Passing grades, I guess. Uh, a new year resolution that I have that isn't really like for me, but I feel like people can relate is to have COVID under control, especially here in Toronto, because I want to go back to how things were before this pandemic ever existed. And if people could just respect the rules, not go out, um, wear a mask, sanitize, and etc., we could be spending Christmas with family and friends right now. But no, no, we gotta limit ourselves. So I swear, I swear, if people decide to break the rules to celebrate Christmas, like we have to give up this Christmas this year. Like anything that we traditionally do with other people outside of the home, just just give it up for this year so we can all get back to the swing of things because I miss, I miss my friends so much. I miss talking to people, like my, my friends in person. Like, I know a lot of people miss doing that as well, but we have to stay strong. We have to stay strong. But a lot of people just keep breaking the rules. And then we, as a city, have to pay the consequences. Doesn't it bother you though when you know you're supposed to be doing a specific thing and then you go on someone's like Snapchat or Instagram and you see them do the exact opposite? 
Oh my gosh, it makes my blood boil. And I'm like, why am I following you? And sometimes I just unfollow the person right on the spot. Like, uh, who do you think you are going out, having fun, while everyone else is trying to like, have this thing under control? Like, no, get, get out of my face, get out of my stories. Like, I don't wanna see this behavior. And then I kind of just like, stop following the person. Third gift done. Look at this, uh, isn't this cute? So I have to wait till, because Miniso has like my gift wrapping set that I ordered. So once that comes in, I'm going to put like the bows and everything and make everything look nice. Um, yeah, now we're going to do the very last gift. The one thing that my secret Santa kept asking for, but I did, I just realized I ordered more for my secret Santa than my own sister. Um, anyways, ciao. So the last thing my secret Santa asked, yeah, honestly, these two gifts, you already know who I have, so... <laughs> ah! It's this adjustable milk frother. Is that how you pronounce it? So it's like one of these things. Um, she just kept asking for this. She just kept asking for this. Well, guess what? I got it, honey. So you can stop asking for it now. If you do look back at my previous video, I do talk about some Amazon ideas. And yes, I understand it's not the best thing to support Amazon. Like, it really isn't. But the only, the main thing why I'm promoting this is again, like I said, I don't make money for my channel and I was able to get like an uh, Amazon affiliate account. So whenever people purchase things with my Amazon links, I can make a little bit of money out of that. So I decided to use that as a way of starting like, you know, my YouTube journey, whatever, whatever. And I feel like it's it's a start. It's a start. If you guys don't feel pressured into purchasing anything, don't worry. Like, I totally understand if you don't want to support Amazon. But if you do, um, and you see anything you like from the links I provided, try to use that and help me out, please. <laughs> and I feel like I'm going to be dropping off my Secret Santa's gifts if she can't technically, if she can't come over. I'm just going to drop it off myself you know, in a box with things. And yes, and that's pretty much it for this video. So with that, I'm going to end things off here. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this was what you were expecting. I don't know what you were expecting because I don't know what I was expecting. As you can see, um, I have very, very bad eye bags. Um, yeah, I'm really tired because, again, because I'm posting this today on Thursday. Yesterday I was just in the hospital getting checked out because very bad, like very, very bad chest pains. So I'm like really drained from yesterday and I'm still drained for not getting enough sleep. So I feel like I'm going to go to bed now. I'm going to put these back in their hiding places. I'm going to wait for the other gifts to come in. Mini so said that they're, or Kevin Post said that they're delivering it today. I hope to God, I hope to God that it does get delivered today because I need it today. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. We've been doing this, well, I've been doing this for an hour. And with that, I'm going to see you all in my next video. Bye guys.